Researchers at Stanford University say an experimental procedure helped a 30-year-old infertile woman in Tokyo give birth to this baby. The technique, still in the early stages of development, involves removing a woman's ovaries and re-implanting tissue treated in a lab. In some women, they may be able to have their own genetic pregnancy, but it's still an awful long way from a scientific breakthrough into a day-to-day -day clinical treatment that will add to their hopes for IVF. The experimental technique was used on five women, resulting in one live birth. For women like Holly Ann Brooks, devastated by the premature onset of menopause, the new research is cause for optimism. Thrilled to see that the advances in, in science and medical science are changing so that in the next few years it may be a possibility for me so that in the next few years I can, you know, hold a baby of my own and, and not um, experience the pain I feel every single day of childlessness. Premature menopause, also known as primary ovarian insufficiency, occurs in about 1% of women of childbearing age the cause of most cases is unknown. Hannah Bookdahl, Associated Press.